Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add specific assets to a scene. This will be an advanced-ish tutorial. It's not going to be super hard, but you do need to know how to use a bunch of things in Leonardo AI. So make sure to go to my playlist Leonardo AI where I explain all the different sections. And if you don't have a Leonardo AI account yet, I explain how to do that in my first video. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I would like to welcome you. Make sure to go to my playlist section to find what videos are relevant to you. Everything I've posted till now are pretty well organized in the playlists. All right, let's get started. So for the scene generation video, I used Miss Golden Fire. For today's video, I'm going to use her sister, Miss Black Diamond. Both of them are female alchemists who don't like working from home. They like working from this enchanted forest where they have their table set up already. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some assets to their table. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to do an upscale. So click Creative Upscale. This is the original image and this is the upscaled image. It looks like some of her mascara is gone, but that's okay. I'm going to click download. Save this right there. And click save. Next, I'm going to go to the AI canvas and upload that image from my computer. I'm going to add Miss Black Diamond right there. Let's make the size a bit smaller. Okay, let's all right if you use an upscaled image there's a lot of details added so the size of the image is actually much larger so you might need to do some adjustment to fit it in the canvas all right now that I have miss black diamond on the canvas I need to make some space on her table to add my assets for that I'm gonna use this custom canvas of the size 704 by 704 and I'm gonna generate an empty table I'm gonna do four generations which is gonna use three tokens click generate all right I have four images this one looks nice but there's no space on the table let's look at the other one the background here actually matches really well with the whole enchanted forest vibe but again no space here you can of course use the eraser to erase certain things here and make space but I don't want to do that for this video okay now we're talking there is a table with an empty plate and that is where I can place some asset I actually like the background here as well because it matches the vibe of the forest all right, now I want to generate an asset to add to this plate. Since she is an alchemist, let me add a magic potion. Leonardo AI actually has this magic potion model already in place, but I actually found this community generated dark magic potion, which I prefer. I already showed you a video on how you can generate your own models. And this one is a community generated one, which I think is better than the one Leonardo provided. So I'm going to use this dark magic potions to generate with this model. So I have my fine tuned model selected as dark magic potions and I'm going to say a potion with a snake. And you see you have to use an instance prompt a potion here. So I want something with a snake or maybe with a snake design. So I'm going to do two generations and click generate. Wow, this came out really cool. There's a snake design on the outside, but I think there's maybe a snake inside as well. Now I'm going to do an upscale on this image do a creative upscale. Cool, this is the original image, which actually is pretty nice as well, but I always like upscaling if I have the option. So I have an upscale image of a potion with a snake in it. I'm gonna click download right there. Click save. All right, now to add that asset right here, I click upload from my computer and do snake potion. Like I said, the upscaled images are usually really large, so you have to scale them down. All right, now I have my magic potion and a table to add that on. There's an issue here though. If we try to add this right here, the background doesn't really match. The whole thing looks super mismatched. So the trick here, as you might have guessed, is to remove the background of my asset. So let's do that. I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna go back to my generation. We have our original image and we have the image with no background but there's another issue here the background here actually includes this bulb in the background which is not a part of this potion so this image actually doesn't work as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pivot to this image which has a better background to be removed i'm going to click remove background right here and now we have another potion this one doesn't have a snake but it still looks really cool i can of course do another generation of a magic potion with a better background but i want it to show when something doesn't work so i'm going to go with this potion which does not have a snake 
but has a better background removal. So I'm going to go no background and I'm going to click download right here. Click save on the desktop. All right, now we have an asset with the background removed, which I can add to the scene and the color scheme of that asset actually matches these lanterns quite well. So I'm going to do upload image from my computer. And this time I'm going to choose this portion with its background removed. There we go. You see how this one is much better than the last one because I don't have to deal with any of the background off the potion and I can just add this right here. Let me adjust the size first though. So I'm going to do about this. And now I can just place it right there. All right, we have our asset added to the scene. I like how the color scheme of this potion matches much better than these things on the table than the snake potion bottle which would be sort of mismatched. So actually this worked out quite well. There are of course some things which can still be fixed here. For example, if you use an upscale version of a lantern which is inside a room, there's this light reflecting here which doesn't quite match with the image and the background is really hazy, it's this enchanted forest, but this potion bottle here is quite sharp. So the whole sharpness level here doesn't quite match up. But those are tiny edit fixes you need to do if you create a scene anyways. But coming back to the point of this video, I hope you understood how to add different assets to the scene. I just added one. You can add something on our necklace maybe. Maybe you can add a crown here. You can add another lantern here or a glass of wine. There are really no limits here. But I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming out both in AI art and other AI tools. Till the next one, thank you so much.